Happy Thursday. It is Thursday. We still have another day left in this awesome week. And tomorrow I'm going to be going live and sharing with you some what I call <laughs> practical practices. This one, what we're going to do tomorrow has to do with making a fantastic new vision board. It's called the Magical Living Vision Board. And why is this different? It's different because you use it. It's not something you just glue together once and you stick under the bed or in the closet and it goes away forever. This vision board will stay up. You'll work with it every day to keep those dream goals happening and activated. I'll teach you all about that tomorrow. But what I thought I would do today is quickly go through how do you even choose goals? How do you do that? It's kind of this nebulous process that nobody really talks about. Well, I'm going to teach you exactly what to do. This has worked for me. This is what I do. Um, and, and it's it's really simple, but there's several steps to it. And the first thing is to take some time for yourself. All right, block off some time that you're going to take to do this, whether you've got 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that, where you can sit. First, sit. Take a deep breath and relax for a minute. Just let it go. <sighs> Time to get creative. And in order for us to get creative, we need to breathe, slow down, and the amygdala, what I call the fear dragon, get him to go to sleep. Oh, can you even hear me? there oh the technologies all right so we're talking about the areas of life that you want to focus on for creating goals and the big ones are the money career finances and then relationships friends and family romantic relationships and then you have your health and fitness, which includes your energy, your well-being, sleep. Then you have hobbies, the creative side, the things you do that you love to do, that you just feel indulgent doing. Maybe it's you know going to the movies. Maybe it's taking a walk in nature. It just feels so good, something you love to do. Go horseback riding, go to the beach. What is it that you love to do? Paint, art, write. Do you give yourself some time for that? And um, personal development, growing, learning more about yourself. Uh, and spirituality, that can kind of work together because mindfulness is very soothing and spiritual. That's considered personal development. So these are some aspects of life you can think about. Where do you feel the most stressed, anxious, unhappy? Start there because that's a good one. There's a good clue. If you're stressed around um, your fitness, you just know that you're not as healthy as you'd like to be. Or if you'd like to change jobs, that's a big one. Then I would want you to rate yourself. You need to know, I know it's backwards, isn't it? It's backwards on the Instagram. It's okay on the other, right? Rate yourself. When you think about your health, where are you? One being in the dumps, 10 being awesome. Where would you just rate yourself when it comes to health and fitness or when it comes to relationships or when it comes to money? Just rate yourself. 
it's really important to measure where you're at so you know where you want to go. You need to know this. And then the second piece is to name the emotion. No, it's backwards. Name the emotion. How do you feel about where you're at right now? The reason we want to name the emotion is really for your brain. Brain fun fact. When you name the emotion, just doing that calms the amygdala down. The amygdala is what I call the fear dragon. Just naming the emotion, even if you're in a state of panic or stress around money and career, say, for example. You're terrified. You're not going to be able to pay the bills. But saying, I'm terrified, that alone will start to calm your amygdala down. Make sure you're breathing. That also calms the amygdala down. When you think about feeling like you don't, you're not feeling confident about getting into a relationship, keep breathing, but name that. I don't feel confident. I don't feel blah, 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 what I want to feel. So as then you name your relationship, you name your emotion. Now go into the why. So why do you want to change it? Why do you want to change it? What do you want to change it to? I want to feel fantastic. I want to feel excited. I want to feel vibrant. What is it? Again, naming that gives you from where you are now to where you want to go. And you need to know that in order to make an effective goal, which will become more clear in a second. Once you name where you're going, where you are, where you want to go, work on why. Why? Why do you want it so badly? What would it change? How would it change your life? What's the domino effect? So if I am feeling happier about myself, who is it going to affect? My kid, my son, my partner, my coworkers, my friends. I'll, I'll be an example for people. If I change my physical fitness, I become healthier and more fit. I'm setting a good example for my family, right? What's your why? Deepening it, making it more important and seeing the ramification of it just for yourself. If you are feeling happier, if you're feeling more successful, if you are more successful, how does that affect your family in a great way, right? So you're building in that feeling again. How awesome would that feel? Dream into this. Let yourself really expand into how it would feel to have what it is you want. It'd feel amazing. It would give you confidence. If you could achieve this, then what couldn't you achieve? What else could you achieve? How awesome is that? You're starting to build momentum and creating what it is you want in your life. Don't have to worry about how just yet, just dreaming into it, really seeing it, seeing the look on your face, seeing your family around you, seeing the new job, career, seeing yourself more fit and healthy, having more vibrancy. This starts to work with your reticular activating system, a very specialized sections of your brain that then goes out and finds ways to make that happen for you. We need to take control of our brain, kids, because the brain is skewed towards negativity. That's how it kept us alive for so long. But now we need to focus it on what we want instead of what we don't want. If we focus it on what we don't want, if you let it just skew off into negativity, guess what it brings more of? It brings more negativity. <laughs> it's just the truth. So if you focus it on what you want, <coughs> which is what this tool is going to be that we are going to do and create for you tomorrow, this, that's like going to be a superpower for you, creating this living vision board. And help keep you focused. And then we'll break down on the steps and like, what do you need to do to get to where you want to go? And that part's that just starts to make sense. It falls into place if you do this other part. And this other part, it's really just like dreaming into your dreams. It's like letting yourself have the dream. It's really interesting. It's not hard work. It's fun. 
it's it's giving yourself a chance to open up your own inner creativity, focus your brain in a fun way. And in, in when you envision something else, it makes you happier. I'm starting to envision something more positive instead of letting my brain go negative. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions? Let me know. So join me tomorrow as well. And we're going to be doing this on a Zoom call. We're going to make a vision board. This is a much different kind of vision board than you've seen before. It's something that you will work with every day. You'll look at it. You'll be inspired by it. It's really going to be fun. And you can keep building it. So once you make it, it doesn't just all glued together. It's something that you move and you work with day after day after day. Yes, that's a very good point, Claire. There is a goal to find in most things. It's kind of the fun of life, really, is that we never stop. We always keep creating. And we might as well create what we want instead of what we don't want. Does that make sense? Because the brain is happy to go off into negative land. That's what it's designed to do. So we want to keep it focused on what we want. All right. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I'll let you go. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, in in the There's a link in, in the bio on the Instagrams and on YouTube and in Facebook. It's in the comments as well as it, in other posts. It's easy to find. If you can't find it, let me know. Anyway, I can post it again, I think, in here. Here we go. It's tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time, but you can get the replay and watch it anytime and as many times as you wish. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. This is a great time of year to do this work. It's towards the end of the year. We can even use this into how do you want your holiday season to go? Normally, we're just sort of at the whims of fate, you know, just uh, feeling stressed and blown around and, and you don't have any choice, but you do. And we can talk about that tomorrow as well. Okay. See you later.